This is the QR code template at SharePointDashboards.com. This template allows you to automatically have a QR code generated corresponding to a text value. Most typically and most usefully, this would correspond to a URL. This could be a hyperlink to somewhere inside SharePoint, such as to an individual list record, or it could be a link to one of your SharePoint sites, or it could be a link to any site. Uh, this is a way so that people could, for example, scan that with their phone. So that implies that you might print this image out or put it somewhere like that so people could just scan that to go there. In any case, if you want to have that ability to have QR codes get generated automatically according to a text value in a column, you can easily use this template to do that. When you first get here, you'll notice there's different options with the themes. So you can review those different settings and take a look to uh, see you know, what's going to appeal. In terms of functionality, of course, these are all going to say, work the same way. You can optionally uh, either show the link which the QR code represents. You can show that below or you can turn that off. And you can also optionally allow for the ability to uh, hover over and then click to manually change that from the list view. And then you can also make adjustments to the size of the QR code um, and even the color of the QR code itself, the foreground and background colors can be adjusted. And that's pretty much all there is to it. In order to have this work, all I need to do is click on the copy template button. I'll get my pop-up window and you can just follow the directions in that box, then click OK. Once I've done that, I can go back over to SharePoint. And in my case, I want to format this URL column. So I go to column settings, format this column, then click on advanced mode. And you'll replace the code in that window from your clipboard. You'll just paste and save. And those QR codes are going to get generated automatically. If I don't want to see that link there, I just want the QR code, I can of course go back over to my template. I can uncheck the show link option and just hit copy again and OK. And then I can simply replace the code once again. And this time we'll have QR codes uh, only without anything else. And if you want to get funky, you can even, you know, do a background behind that. Maybe I want, um, you know, like a light background or something like that. That will work perfectly fine as well. Um, I can set a background. I can change the foreground color. Maybe just for some reason I want to do uh, like a dark navy blue. Um, I could do that as well. So you can make adjustments and just keep on replacing your code by simple copy and paste and save and um, I can get different appearances that way. And this has the inline edit so I could actually you know put in a different URL and it will dynamically come up with a new QR code for me right after I do that. That's all there is to it. You can hold up your phone to those and scan and it will direct you to whatever you put into that field. I hope you found that useful. I hope you're thinking of a way to incorporate this into the functionality of your SharePoint lists. And you can try this out, try out the free templates at SharePointDashboard.com. If you have not yet used this tool, you can sign up for a free account, which does include 20 free templates. This is a pro template. It's part of the subscription package, which includes more than 100 different types of formatting templates. I hope you found that useful and good luck with your QR codes.